consultants. The first thing is scraping project. So what has happened? What are the observations? Is a uh, few people, okay, not everyone, but a few people while they were trying to work on the project, they came across a situation, they came across a scenario wherein they were trying to scrape the project, but maybe their ID was due to their ID, they were not able to clear the scraping part. They were taking to the error page wherein they were asked to buy, purchase different APIs. So that was one of the scenarios that a few people faced. Okay. And then a the few people, they overcome that challenge. They overcome that scenario due to some, they applied their thinking caps. And it was something which was very good to see that you all are trying to put your efforts and try to uh, come up with the solutions for that as well. So it was something very good and uh, highly appreciating that. Okay. And the third thing is that we thought of, okay, let's talk about this particular situation, a particular scenario, wherein we just have a word with you about what can be the changes because scraping cannot be always be the same. There has to be some of the enhancements. You have to think about how to proceed. You have to, things may change. Things may change because the sites will keep themselves upgrading. The intention is to that, the intention is that we should go ahead by the APIs and should pay them. That is what the intention is. Taking that particular intention into situation, into consideration, they will always keep enhancing their websites. So similarly, if they enhance their websites, we have to upgrade your mindset. We have to think of different solutions. We have to think of what all the options can be done. So that is one thing. Okay. So now uh, there are a few things, a few observations. So Dipanjan, let's let's start. Okay. So first of all, I would like to talk about uh, Pamal. Okay. So Pamal, we got some suggestions from some inputs from your end, and we have taken those ahead of our internal discussions as well. And yes, there was very much good. So probably we may consider, we are going to consider that as also one of the options. But there are a few other things like uh, when we tried to execute, uh, when we tried, in fact, when Dipanjan tried to execute the scraping on the basis of what we suggested in the earlier technical discussion video, he was able to do it. So there can be some challenges. What do you think, Dipanjan? What could have caused the challenge sure, sure. we were unable to update? Uh, yeah, I'll clear those things today. So no need to worry about that. So shall I start now? Shall I start my uh, start? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Imagine. Go ahead. Uh, let's let's take it as a discussion kind of thing. So if in case I feel mm -hmm. like some query is coming up, then probably I will raise it to you. Or else then yeah, let's sure. keep going with the flow. Sure, sure. So yeah, I'll just uh, first come to this part where you probably might be getting this five zero three. Uh, response right when you try to hit this particular uh, URL. So this is uh, see what I observed from my side is like when I try to basically give a request. Okay, sometimes I'm getting this. Uh, sometimes I'm get, able to get the output. But then can we okay, can we I try to do it multiple times? Yeah, just one minute. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because that started also. from there. Or yeah, so else after multiple requests. Thing. Yeah, so I'll just tell you that uh, the way things are behaving here is like uh, after multiple requests, I'm able to see this particular screen. Okay. Uh, I'm able to see 503 uh, response. And if I go inside the uh, page that comes up, okay, you, you can see this thing, right? To discuss automated access to Amazon contact API services. Probably this is the uh, page that you probably might be getting uh, when you try to uh, basically send a request. Okay, so I can see some uh, people who got 503 error. So maybe, uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying maybe, this is uh, Amazon does not want you to basically automate their scraping, okay? So the reason probably is different. Okay, uh, probably they don't want to uh, basically give their data so for commercial purposes or what would be the reason. How did this happen? Like I could see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. So when we attempted this five times, it worked. But when we did it seven times, it started. Yeah. It, it stopped getting work. No, for now it is working. I don't know. It, it is working now. But like before, sometime when I tried. Uh, it gave me that error. Okay, so I'm not sure. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So okay, now so it's working okay. perfectly. Yeah, but basically, if I try to request again, so I got yeah. So basically, there might be some. Uh, 
some checkpoints mm-hmm. like if someone is the uh, after uh, consistently uh, as soon as possible back to back if someone is trying to do probably then it right. might be yes yeah so they are probably tracking the the ip so that like if you have like let's say 10 requests per minute or more than 10 requests per minute something like that they will throw this error so not sure how they are uh, managing things i'm just guessing right like this is probably how their internal application is structured that uh, you give a lot of requests and after hitting the uh, server multiple times uh, they say this kind of an error okay so whatever it be we are not very sure about how many times they allow or how they are even controlling this we, we don't have any idea about it we are basically trying to hack uh, i won't say it's a hack okay it's like trying to get their data in a different way okay they are saying that if you want to get the data buy the data from us and what you are doing is you are not buying the data you are actually uh, searching for it and then going inside and trying to get the data from the page that is rendered in your uh, this thing right driver the chrome drive so anyway i mean uh, whatever works okay i have seen uh, pomal's video that he has sent it's a nice one i'm not sure if it works always or not okay but yeah there are few uh, things that uh, pomal has said okay that, like you can pass few parameters that will ensure that this thing doesn't happen okay but i wanted to try this again for my like multiple hits okay you can do two things okay like if you people are facing this error uh, you can try two things just do a request dot get a request dot get and uh, probably try it for each search uh, try to hit like three four times and if one of them works then you can proceed with your uh, soup right whatever uh, page is rendered you can proceed with that if not uh, you can basically keep on hitting till you get the page up okay so this is one way i'm not sure if even this will work or like for me it worked okay so I, like after two three requests i can see that i'm getting the screen upon request okay so at least from here uh, so you can probably try this from your script as well okay and you can like do three four times and try to see if you are getting a uh, 200 till then you can keep on uh, hitting the uh, so, uh, can hitting this particular phase okay finding bulbul yeah. is there on the call so, okay so bulbul are you there mm-hmm. sorry hello bulbul can you hear us hello hello Azir, do you do you have access to hello. speak yeah bilbul bilbul you also got the similar error which dipanjan is talking about right yes sir you also got the hello. similar error you got the and uh, there might be people who did not even get this error right how many are there who did not get this error how many of well? you yeah chalo how many of you already scraped a particular file although i said that we will connect and have a discussion on that but still i suggested you to go ahead with the scraping part and uh, let us know if you get stuck and let us know what are your inputs so how many of you basically tried to scrape you can just uh, put your thumbs up it would just help us to understand where are we leading okay so pamal has done it anyone else who already I tried really to don't... want to create this but very sorry i want so i also wanted to see the response so sorry for the infinite mirrors <laughs> yeah Go okay uh, how many guys how many of you actually tried to scrape i know pamal i know bulbul i know bhageshree all three uh, texted me uh, neha did you also try to scrape neha bhargavi bhargavi did it neha you did it Neha, then Pratibha is there. Pratiksha is there. Salim is there. Yes, who? How many of you actually tried to scrape? So I could see that in the activity sheet, most of the people are like. Uh, listing down the categories of the products and names to be scraped so most of you have still updated that as a category okay so dipanjan 
other than three to four folks, people are still on the step one wherein they are uh, making the list of the mm -hmm. categories and trying to work on that. So that should not be an issue. Chalo, let's, uh, okay. let's not an issue. Uh, mm -hmm. So how sure. we did it? Yeah. Uh, so how what we uh, formal mm -hmm. See, Dipanjan, how we did is uh, we have we have taken this project as of now in the second week itself. Like earlier when we conducted it, uh, we did this mm -hmm. particular project uh, by the end of third week or somewhere in the middle of third week. So the intention, as we discussed, we did it this time on second week itself so that people get a proper time and they can spend good time, like all 45 days time on that. But by the end of the day, they should be in a position to do by whatever it takes and all these things. So it's okay, guys. Uh, if you are if you are still working on categorization part, then probably uh, this is where we will land up in. Few of you will get stuck. So Dipanjali, let's let's carry on. Okay. So I think you probably might have explored the pi file that I've given you, IPONB file. Okay. So I will not go into much detail. Okay. Probably there will be few pages where uh, you cannot get the same class again. Okay, maybe they have changed the front end design a little bit, and you probably might not be getting the correct selector. Okay, but the, please explore. This is the same. This is the same pipeline that we shared with the uh, shared with the team earlier. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay, it is the same pipeline. Yeah. So guys, you already have the pipeline. Okay, so you just refer it. Okay, guys, I I didn't do any change as of now. I think you are already aware. Okay, only thing that I would like to add. As uh, Pommel pointed out, okay, there are a few params that you can send. Okay, according to him, that he has said that uh, you can basically add few params like DNT, then connection close, and these things would probably uh, trick the uh, server side saying that, okay, uh, this looks like a valid connection, probably. Okay, so this probably will solve the issue. I'm not very sure why they will even allow this. Okay, like. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, if you try to do it the same thing with and without, like for 100 times and check which one works, uh, if you see that this works, then of course it's good. Okay. But I cannot say that this is the reason why things are working. Okay. I, I don't want to uh, bring that particular thing up that this is, if you do this, it will surely work. Okay. So I'm not very sure about this. So Dipanjan, is this the mm -hmm. same thing wherein uh, Pamal suggested of adding a header and is this the same thing? Yes, yes, yes. Oh? Correct, correct, correct. So uh, he suggested to add few headers, okay. Uh, like, yeah, of course, user agent, accept encoding, except this is fine. Uh, these things, you can, these are optional. Okay, the things that are kind of hacky and that can be probably mislead the uh, their side to think that it's a uh, valid request and it's not an automation request. Probably this one, I think it will help a lot. Okay, if you are not, if they they are not able to track the IP address itself, they cannot say that how many requests were made, right? Using your IP address. So this, I think, definitely should work. Okay, uh, but I'm not very sure. Like if they have uh, something else to track your uh, automation, then I'm not very sure. Okay, how uh, things are behind. Okay, but yeah, I think these things seem to look like it should work. Okay, like at least this DNT is, looks very good. Okay, and uh, connection close. I think usually when you try to get a request, it automatically closes the connection. I'm not very sure about that, but okay. Uh, you can also uh, keep this extra param. Okay, I'm not very sure about this. Just check once. Okay, I'll also check once on my side. But mostly, I think that when you do a dot get, uh, once it, you get the page inside a variable, it automatically automatically closes the connection. Okay, that is what my assumption is. But anyway, uh, check. I'll also check this. You can also check. And then uh, upgrade in security request. In secure request, this is again a good one. Okay, I was not aware of these things before. So yeah, uh, you can try these options out and check if you're, uh, do it like for 100 times in a minute and see if you're getting that error again or not. Okay, but see, uh, everywhere, okay, like earlier things used to be pretty simple, like a few, uh, like seven, eight years, uh, back, I used to book train tickets using Selenium, okay? And now uh, IRCTC has made a lot of uh, things so that you cannot basically automate, okay? So I used to book every Saturday, a train ticket had to be booked from Pune to Mumbai and things like that. So things were very easy before you could scrape, you could do a lot of automation before, 
like six, seven years back. But now things are getting tough. Like uh, they want to pay for the data that you see, okay? Because now a lot of data analysis is going on and things like that. They don't want you to uh, give the data free of cost. Okay? So of course uh, they'll try their best uh, so that you don't get to see the data at all. Okay, so see if they if, see these things do not make sure that. Uh, if you just send a request with all these three headers, okay, that doesn't uh, uh, basically ensure that uh, this is a authentic uh, request, okay? This is not a non-commercial or commercial request. You cannot basically come to that conclusion, right? I can automate with these uh, things itself, right? I can make my entire script and I can say these three things and then I'm going to use it and then commercialize it, okay? so. There is no way they will be able to identify whether the request is uh, authentic or not, right? So they also will be struggling to do that. Of course, they'll try their best, look, put a lot of captchas, and they'll try to break the pattern and things like that. Okay, like when you try to log in uh, earlier, okay, there is one option that people used to do, right? Like first, so see if you go here and you try to log in, you are able to enter the email ID or phone number. When you try to do it multiple times, probably they'll ask you for a, uh, to solve a CAPTCHA or something like that, okay? So maybe you will do, you give these things and you press and continue. And when you go forward somewhere in the between, uh, you will get a CAPTCHA solver to prevent automation, right? So they'll, so they'll try to keep a pattern, okay? They, they'll, they'll try to break the pattern so that you cannot automate. So oh, these, these things just... keep going. Dipanjan, mm -hmm. let's let's have formal yeah. reports also here. Probably he is also texting something. Mm -hmm. So uh, probably oh. you would like to speak with Kamal, probably Dipanjan, about what made him do that. What sure, sure, sure. Process to it. Then I think Bilbil is yes, also. Please. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Hi, Kamal. Uh, you're open to talk any time. Yeah. Uh, hi. Hello, Dipanjan. Hello, Ramiz. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, so, so, Pamal, uh, Pamal, so guys, Dipanjan has made a few things uh, very nicely. He explained a few things that it was all clear. So, most of the things, the way uh, it is like some captures are coming in, that is where we were currently. And the thing is, the, the system, the software, the websites are being upgraded in such a manner that we do not openly go ahead and save them. That is the that is what is happening. Okay. So, so mm -hmm. then he also he tried to do it. Then probably he was able to do it. Then he was talking about what Kamal did. So he uh, probably then it can be a trick, and probably that may also not work in future. That that was your that was Dipanjan's opinion, right? Mm -hmm. So Kamal, what yeah, what Pamal, go ahead, go ahead. your thought process, Kamal? Actually, when you try to go ahead with this particular thing, what what your thought process and the reasoning, the solution probably worked really that point of time. So. If you can just let us know about what was your thought process to it, then it would be helpful. Actually, uh, while I trying to execute the files, I was getting some errors uh, from the Selenium uh, using the Chrome mm -hmm. driver error that I mentioned in the question. So I started uh, finding the solution of the Chrome driver first. So uh, then I installed a Chrome driver based on my my Chrome version and everything. But after that, it is saying, it is giving me the uh, report that you have to connect to the API service, then only you can scrape. Then I'm the, oh my God, uh, I saw your video, uh, the Panjan's video that is working perfect, that I started thinking it, maybe it's uh, something wrong in my side. Then I started finding uh, about the information, why it is not working. Then one, um, one abstract file I got from the internet, from the probably from the uh, Quora uh, probably some Asian countries, some other countries are been blocked by using the automation system of Amazon because of the security threat or something like that. Cause the maximum hackers or the maximum the people are you know doing wrong things from this mm -hmm. kind of country. I am not sure about the document. Then I thought, ki why this is not working and why it is seems like a hacking from Amazon. This is a publicly available data, right? So if I scrap. Mm -hmm save the price of a product and name of a product instead of scraping i can copy and paste also so this can't be treated as a hacking or something like that then i found that uh, while uh, i just back to my courses in mst i have a specification in internet security so there, there i uh, uh, read somewhere 
that you have to make a connection secure so that you can get the result of the from the dns and the you know the entire circuit happens like this way then uh, the, the after seeing this report then i saw okay, okay chalo, let's make this connection secure first so one after the another argument to secure the connection i started to adding this and after adding this few uh, thing, then I tried to read this and it is working fine. But there's an, also another problem is here. The mm -hmm. problem is if you do it for co.uk, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. So these are the that problems. Yeah, these are the systems. Maybe, maybe I don't know for what reason. But I was not able to make the Chrome driver problem uh, happen. This is or still this is in my computer. I don't know why. Okay, so which one is still in your computer? Uh, Chrome, Chrome driver. driver. Well, yeah, well, I'm trying to you know run the Selenium. Uh, mm -hmm. What I did instead of the way you said, I just started following this thing instead of do the. Mm -hmm scraping letter i started do the scraping first then automating to selenium but whenever okay. i'm integrating selenium it is giving me the error of chrome driver i don't know why oh see usually what happens if you update your chrome and things like that there won't be any problem but if you are not upgrading or if you don't have chrome at all so I that driver will not be there i check the version of the chrome and i try I to see. update it but this is the highest version that is one one to five point something now one to four point even i did that yesterday so <laughs> run this yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so um i don't know that and is. and one more thing i found uh, during this there are few free extensions are there they works amazing in this okay. scraping part, mm -hmm. i tried with every website like flipkart amazon uh walmart uh like uh, uh, uh uh, what was that imdb i tried every every website this mm -hmm. works absolutely fine and i have shared the uh, pi file with uh, ramesh hey, I, I got the pi file it doesn't look to have a lot of data in it wait let me again pull that up i can see two csv files being read on those right yeah, that's, but that CSV files uh, files has been scraped using through this uh, using this uh, add-on. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit of um, you know cleaning that works great actually. I'm not sure Maybe how one... they are doing the request. Can we see that in some way? Like what yes, yes, I try to see. I, yes, yes, I mm -hmm. try to uh, you know uh, read the script. They have a mm -hmm. uh, they have a, a system of API. Mm -hmm. They basically integrated one API inside that uh, inside ah, that uh, so extension. They, so they, they, it is not free of cost for them. So what the no, what what is free coming? You can upgrade it if you are using mm -hmm. it for commercial purpose or a long, you know, huge thing you have to script. Then you have to upgrade it. But for mm -hmm. our work, it is absolutely fine. It is working perfect. Right. So they have. Like they, them, I I think that uh, extension probably will charge you after some number of requests or something. I'm not very sure. No, they should not give it free because if they're some, using it after some hmm. uh, after some request. But the thing is, they're giving a limit that in one shot you can scrape nearly uh, like uh, ten thousand data. Correct. After yes. that, you have to upgrade it. But uh, whenever people, you know, for commercial purpose, we are scraping, then the hmm. data quantity is huge. Huge. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. That's that right. is right. Mm. So yeah, these challenges are there. Okay, especially Amazon is a big website. Usually, you don't do scraping and uh, selenium and things. I mean, automation for these purposes. Okay, usually if you are in a big organization. They usually don't do this. Okay, you usually get the data right from the company itself through some API or some or the other way. Right, you can pull it from in some batches or something. So it is not usually this way. Okay, uh, this is a hacky way. It, it is the main purpose of these things came into picture when uh, people wanted to do testing automation. Okay, so they wanted to automate their own websites and see what are the things happening, report, report bugs, uh, have some observations, take some screenshots. To automate all those things, they have uh, basically built these tools initially, but now uh, they are using it for scraping and multiple other purposes as well, which is good, of course. Wherever job will be used or Jaya Karo use now, it's a problem. So good. Wow. Anyway, uh, nice talking to you, Pamal. Thank you for this. Thank you.
thank you so much thank you so, so ultimately you were able to do scraping by your suggestions and you also did using uh, using extension as well yeah yeah, yeah. okay mm -hmm. and uh, if you want probably you can take the api as well and try out okay that uh, if you give the request probably you will get it in the okay, most uh -huh. I think it is charging. Charged, no? Yeah, 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 this is chargeable. You uh, can try that out. How much does it charge? Uh, is, is not it less? Charge, there are certain uh, documentation that you have to do. Man. It means why you need this oh, API or like that. No, it will be charged to open project is scraping car again. You would directly open the API. Ah, oh, okay. correct. That, that, that so ultimately the aim was like to let you know something about scraping. So ideally speaking, the beautiful soup is there, and Panjan has suggested some other tools as well. So idea whole vision of introducing this as a project was to ensure that you guys somewhat get a feel of uh, scraping as well. And yes, if we eliminate uh, scraping for it, it will still be a fruitful project. It will still be a project wherein. Uh, you do market research, but the only change will be that you got data set from somewhere. So probably it can be like uh, either we provide you the data set or either uh, one of the teammates just go ahead and make a purchase of it from an API or one of the teammates itself um, maybe can do a particular, like Komal has already scraped a few data. So probably one of the teammates already scraped the data and that data went to you. But by doing this, the scraping part will get eliminated. Okay. It would be a market research project. It would be an analytics project. Uh, however, your involvement in scraping will be reduced. So probably when it comes to interview, it would be like it was a scraping project where you got the data when some of your team members scraped it for you. And then when the, once the data was scraped, then you guys were working on that. That will, it will, that will, uh, it will end up, end up in. So, 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 this is good. Okay, it is a skill to know. Okay, we can do this. We can take things from somewhere like before the like. Of course, the Google Chrome renders something out of the uh, web page, the uh, resource. Okay, but you can use that particular thing, and you are going to fetch those data using some library. Okay. Apart from that, you could have come up with your own regular expression and <laughs> identify titles, IDs, and everything, and keep. Uh, taking the required data from that, that is also fine. If not, you can also use beautiful soup and take few things from there. Okay, so multiple options are there just to show you that this is a possibility and you can collect data from the front ends. This is one thing that we want, wanted to push uh, inside your resume. So that is the reason we had this. Right. So Dipanjan, uh, is my screen, is the screen visible? Just one minute. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's off, it's off, it's off. No, no, is my, okay, this is my Excel file kind of screen visible? Yeah, you can see the Excel. Okay, so guys, this is where we have come up, okay? One was the solution that was already shared in the technical recording. Okay. And the, uh, somewhat, uh, the Panjan has referred to that also screen today. Solution shared in the last, shared in the IP YMB file. Okay, few people can still do it the way it is. That is the option one. Depends on correct me if I go wrong somewhere. Okay. Yeah, you try to do it uh, with the normal approach. If it still doesn't work, okay, try to do it multiple times. Uh, like the same search, try to hit multiple times. Uh, sorry, the same uh, URL, try to hit multiple times and try to get a response. Like till you get a 200 response, you keep on firing it. Uh, and as soon as you get 200, move to the next one. Okay, so you can try that approach up. Uh, you can try that approach. And if still that doesn't work, then you can go with uh, Pummels. Okay, Pummel will launch. How would we try Pummel's approach on the mm -hmm. when it comes to theoretically specifying that? How would we do it? Ah, uh, that was okay. Uh, you can simply add it in a params. Okay, like you can put it in a dictionary and when you do a dot get, you can you have to pass two things basically. One is the URL, and second thing is your params, which is a dictionary. So you can pass all these things that I just mentioned: DNT, fair, um, so security upgrade. Okay, and the third thing was which one? What was the third thing? I do not remember. 
So these three things, I I I felt that it sounds good. Like okay, connection. How, how do I write it? Panjan, can you tell me point by point? Option three. Wait, I'll I'll probably present. Okay, and I'll tell you how to. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, let me know when things are up. Yeah, your screen is up. So, Dipanjan, this is the same pipeline that we have already shared with the team earlier. In the same yes, pipeline, yes. in the same pipeline, we can go ahead and add uh, Dipanjan's thing as well, right? Yeah, same place. See, see, if you go to this place now, where you're importing requests and you're going to do this request dot get, just skip just before this, okay? You are passing the URL. You have to pass another thing with the URL, which is your uh, headers, okay? So just pass whatever you want here, okay? In the form of a dictionary. This is a key. Then this is your value, okay? In the keys, you can use all these keys that I just specified here, okay? These are the keys that you can use. Okay, you can use this user agent, and you can pass what kind of agent you are using, whether it's a uh, your Chrome browser or a Mozilla. Firefox browser, whatever kind of browser. Okay, accept encoding these things. You can uh, basically it doesn't matter. You can keep it in the deflate or like the kind of uh, uh, format in which you want to uh, accept the request from. Okay, uh, you can keep it in a, a deflate format and uh, or a, uh, any format of your choice. Okay, actually your driver should be uh, capable of getting that uh, type of a encoding okay so uh, it is fine you can uh, basically keep these three things uh, without these three things also you can try okay uh, you can also specify the kind of uh, format you would like to align your uh, page to okay be it xml or whatever it is okay these are fine uh, these are not very important you can skip these things it's an optional thing but these three things will probably help you in uh, getting past that 503 error, okay, which is your DNT, which is do not track. Uh, I, I did not research much on these things, okay, so I'm not very sure about it, but you can just put this DNT here and you can say this as one in, in within strings. That's what I saw from Pomal. Okay, then connection also you can uh, define close, okay. Then you can also have update and secure request. And you can put this as one. Okay, I'm not sure it's a string or a string. Uh, Pamal, okay, wait, let me refer back to this. It's a string everywhere. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you can pass this params. And uh, wait, let me again try with this. Okay. And I'm able to get all the things. Yeah, I think I'm able to get. It happened? Right. Yeah, it is working fine. I mean, it was working without these also for me. See, if I don't pass parents also. Can there notes the option be in Can there like uh, option two work at Aldona? Somewhere there itself. Okay. Just so that people, will, while they scrape through, while they go to the pi file, like See, option I'm the, uh, huh. See, I'm getting the request without passing those things. I'm getting the resource okay, without these things I'm getting the complete HTML. So I do I did not face any issue without params also. Okay. So if you want, uh, you can try this out. If you are facing issue, if you are not facing an issue, then you don't have to try this out. Simply you can pass the URL. Yeah, that you have written. What exactly is this? Yeah, these are the param These are headers. Okay. Like when you send a request, you I can have that. you. Hmm. Option two, so that people will understand. Okay, this, can, this should only be the second option, okay. only okay. as a note kind of thing. Sure, sure. I'll add these two here. Okay. Yeah, or else they will try to do oh, the entire thing by one. Yeah, I do like this. Okay, it as option two. Yeah, uh, so by one pipe itself. So mm -hmm. in the last pipe itself, you're adding this particular thing. Yeah, correct. Okay, so whatever is inside these uh, hashes, no? you can try this thing out or you can try this. This is option one. The option one should be on top, right? Okay, this so, is your option one. This is the option one, the old old method that we suggested. Yeah. This is option one. Great. 
So now this will be I like this should work. I don't know. I did not feel any problem here. I tried to hit it multiple times. I don't know how it's working for me. <laughs> okay, no, please. This is sure. like uh, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. VPN is not like using any mask. No, I don't use any mask. I don't use any mask. No, I don't use any mask. No, I don't use any mask. Probably it might have been through some server issue or routing through a specific server. No, it's not a server issue for sure. सर्वर इश्यू तो नहीं है जबकि वो बोल ऐसा रहा था कि इट्स अ रश आवर बट फिर इफ आई गो इनसाइड एंड इफ आई सी दिस ना टू डिस्कस ऑटोमेटेड एक्सेस दिस डज इट लुक लाइक अ सर्वर इश्यू ओके दे आर गिविंग अ दिस पर्टिकुलर टेक्स्ट ना इट डज इट लुक लाइक अ सर्वर इश्यू डज इट लुक लाइक अ सर्वर हां हां क्या डाल के रखे पायलट इज इट दैट दे आर जस्ट डूइंग अ पायलट रन फॉर अ फ्यू थिंग्स Not sure what uh, so, the taste, so, but so, yeah, they are basically. I mean, मुझे लग रहा था ये तो दिखे at least इधर, but that did not come up here strangely. I'm not sure. It was very nice stream. The Panjan screen is visible, right? Pratibha is saying that the screen नहीं दिख रही है. Oh, oh, am I not sharing? No, no, it's visible. It's visible. Nice, yeah, I'm sharing. Yeah. चलो तो देखो that should happen और उसके बाद में Uh, Pamal, how many data have you scraped till now? These are two options are in place. Ha, ha, Pamal. Yeah, I have scraped uh, the four to five options data. Like uh, each option contains at least eight, ten pages of paginations in uh, sure. of Amazon. A good amount data, I guess. So. Okay, yeah, that's good. Enough. Hmm. So now what we'll do is. now we have uh, did a brainstorming wherein we have uh, discussed and come up with solutions as well so now what we'll do is now see in the pi file that we have dipanjan has updated the second option as then dipanjan extensions wala bhi add kar sakte hai kya usme as a node somewhere in the same pi file below i need to try that extensions uh, can you can you tell me the names of those extensions at least if i can try them so well, uh, that is data scraper Uh, I have extension. tried uh, at least uh, 10 15 uh, uh, extension but this data scraper works the best it's a red okay. color icon of a uh, uh, hammer kind of thing ha ah, hammer okay got it <laughs> okay fine and you do you have access to this pi file hey, is this the one first one instant data okay anyway i'll 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 check this thing out ha ah, there is a red hammer here okay sure I'll uh, probably make another video of it. How to use it? Okay. There is one pi file related to it, which Pamal has made. By any chance, did you see that? No, no. There is no pi file into included into here. There is a script uh, mm -hmm. you can see through. Can you share your screen, Pamal? Uh, this... uh, but you mm -hmm. have to. Uh, I I haven't opened it. Like uh, it takes time. You have to go to that. Let's, uh, let's yeah, I can share if you want. You uh, after that I can uh, send you the file. Let's let's only do one thing. As of now, just na write those names of those uh, extensions here, Dipanjan. So as yeah. a third option, I'll let probably the... share my screen back. Okay, let me. Uh -huh. Let the oh, team do it. Let the team make some efforts and try to uh, do it. If in case they come to that, if in case the need requires to do that, uh, yeah, yeah, this, this one, this one. Easy. This is pretty easy. You don't have to take any kind of hassle uh, or any kind of technical knowledge. Nothing you need. You just, just create a recipe it. and um, it's fine. Okay. Okay, I can see that it gives you an example, right? Yes, yes, so yes, yes. You yes. can you can export into any of these Excel, CSV. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So basically, we just so have to apply the link there, and it will give us an extracted thing of the entire link in many of the formats that we want, right? Hmm. Yeah. See, these five hundred free pages are there. Yeah. After that, you have to pay. Yeah, there is a starter so, subscription. This should solve. This should already solve one need, na? अपने को उससे आगे करना भी नहीं है. हाँ, इसमें कुछ है नहीं. आप खुद explore करो. Okay, how do you use this particular thing? And uh, see how it works. Okay, you can see all these things. And uh, 
you'll be able to get how to do Dipanjan, it. Even I'll look at it. Apna jo pie foil, Dipanjan, the pie foil that we have, usme option three mm-hmm. karke ekdam last me just update the name of that just as a note kind of thing. No? Just as that, a note. Uh, okay, our uh, this thing, na? Pie foil. Ah, let we'll have everything there. So then now okay. we have three options. First option is the way we already did. It really worked, but it may not have worked for a few people my, for X, Y, Z reason. For there, Dipanjan has said, we keep trying it. Maybe after a while, it may keep working. Like 200 hits, he said. Uh, that is what he said. That was the option two. If still that doesn't work, the option three is, uh, which we have already pasted, Dipanjan has already updated. Uh, like going through header and like doing all that thing, making it that particular thing. If that doesn't work, the option three for you is um, uh, this particular extension. You can just write the name of that extension in the PI file as a form of comment and option three. Yeah, I'll put that. Uh, please share the screen. Can you comment on that line? Are you using VPN? That's a good question. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we already covered those points. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll uh, put that thing. Hmm. I'll put the. Uh, Red hammer sign all out. The screen is not visible, Dipanjan. I, I just added that. Okay, wait. Hold on. And we'll still have a fourth option. Is these are very much can be done. Go ahead and do it. Uh, we have done a lot of brainstorming now in the session for that. And we have come up with all these points. Okay. Yeah, I've added this here. Okay. You can probably just copy paste here and you'll yeah, directly it. link data scraper, easy web scraping. Yeah. So you can uh, see how it is. Okay. Uh, thoda explore the look as a heck as a cat. Right. Chad, you want to paste karna hoga, aapko, um, kaise export karna software. So, oh, yeah. You are going to paste nahi karna hai, but sir, site khola hai, automatically aa jayega. We just have to oh, open the site. Haan, aap aap ek baar koi bhi Amazon site khol lo, to wo automatically aa jayega ki scrape kaise karna hai. Uh, find anything, wo recipe dikha dega. Then just go to the add-ons. Okay. Add-on ke Chrome wala add-on. Ha, Chrome wala add-on ke extensions pe jaiye. Mm-hmm. You have to restart the okay. Chrome. Yeah, you haven't installed it. Oh, okay. Dipanjan uh, left the meeting unknowingly, I guess. So uh, this is the importance of having brainstorming sessions. So the sol- suggestions, the solutions, the discussions always helps. So now just try to make a use of this particular uh, session. Okay, we have already discussed the three options. This one seems to be the easiest one, the one which extension, but by doing that, you won't get hands-on scraping. But ultimately, yes, you can say that you did this, did this, uh, or if someone of your teammate this scraping or directly you got it from there, it won't make any change or it won't negatively impact your data science, data analytics project as such. But let that be as a last option then after you are attempting everything, one, two, three options, if those, that doesn't work for you, then let it be third. And But ideally speaking, it should work for you there itself. And uh, then probably if nothing works, then probably we will fall on to this particular thing. Okay? So all the people who have updated that I am still exploring the point one, page one, let's uh, now move on to another step. This is already the third week. Third week is, has come to an end. And then we'll be like only a few weeks, two weeks remaining when it comes to we'll talk about project on regular basis. So now start um, start pressing the accelerator fast. Um, keep moving ahead with that. And uh, let let me see the panjam ka chale again. Where where is the cyclone? We will say which area is the cyclone coming in? West Bengal. West Bengal. So West Bengal are... and Bangladesh, yeah. Okay. I'm from West Bengal. I don't know. If so it's, still, it's there as well. 
yeah it's still raining and uh, by tonight maybe the landfall will happen and maybe uh, 100 or 120 kilometer uh, speed cyclone something like that the news landfall is showing happen landfall is happened tomorrow what is the speed you said 100 to 120 100 to 120 we have seen serious cyclones from this right but probably you were hoping that the lives and assets they remain safe. Yeah. Because this things are just like they the like rains and all, everything just get dumped, every roads will all get blocked, all those things will definitely happen. Then trees and all this form. They will all <laughs> yeah, the Panjan has joined. I, I, I really actually you restarted the, the chrome browser. no yeah, <laughs> yeah correct. i closed the, close the chrome browser hey, i just want to ask one question actually mm -hmm. uh, see the web scraper and the mm -hmm. other things is good it's uh, it's fine but uh for a uh if we try this in ipnb file and if we add the add a proxy and mm -hmm. route our server in a different way is it something mm -hmm. that it will work always means I'm just looking for a solution I think, that yes, we can always that. works. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, that's what I'm saying. Man. I'm not very sure how this thing is uh, configured behind the back. If it is about the IP address, yeah, we can maybe dynamically create a new IP address all the time before we hit this. Right. That's a good way. We can try that. Uh, use a proxy and then try to uh, hit the server again and again uh, with a different IP. That is one way. Yeah, actually, I was seeing uh, this problem happens in the type C address. Basically, if we can convert in a type mm -hmm. two and reroute the server, and I don't know if you help mm -hmm. us on this, it would be great. Yeah, I think that would be a completely different thing altogether to do it. I'll also explore that option. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I'll see how to do that. I, I'm not very sure about this. Okay, so I'll, I'll try it out and probably let you know. No, actually, I was thinking if some, you know, some interview or something is coming and uh, they ask for, you know, do you know scraping? And if, mm -hmm. if we that and if at that time it doesn't work, that means this will be a mess, actually. So that's no, you can why... really explain them that see, it is not always going to be the same forever, right? Uh, the things will change. Of course, yeah. Uh, one way to do it, see, even the addresses will change and uh, many things will change, okay? So probably the same code will not work again for you. Uh, the place where your search field is located or its ID may change. Many things may change. So nobody will probably expect you uh, to, like the old code itself, to always work all the time. Okay, But you can share your experiences and uh, things like that. See guys, so yeah, follow, this follow is a good approach. Uh, follow, follow, I'll, I'll try. Lenny, yeah, this is not... See, yeah, see, yeah, there is no, uh, personally, there is no need to go ahead and try to find the solution on the call for each and everything. The thing is, uh, we, we will give the options, okay? We will give the options and yes, the people have time. The key project of ours is not a scraping project anyways. It's a project which is a data analytics project and a market research project. But we want to teach people to know people the scraping as well. So you have time guys with you, okay? When it comes to if you want to go ahead and experience more, when it comes to beautiful soup, selenium, we have suggested to spend some time and get some time like two hours or four hours. Get your client somewhat trained on that if required. So let that be the option. Okay. So now the project will be like uh, scraping data analytics, market research. That is the key thing as a data analytics. You will be more into that. But now see. Uh, follow these options, like because uh, this, these are those kind of different discussions where we can keep doing things, we can keep uh, trying different things, but we may again face a situation wherein things may change uh, again the next week. So these all things can definitely happen. So as of now, the what I'm trying to form according to our discussion is I'm just trying to formulate a process, a natural process, which we can just follow step by step. Because probably once we start doing that, probably if we come up with some solution, it may it may just all of abruptly change the next week and probably all things may just go dicey again, then we will have to rethink. But in the call, like uh, people can, uh, everyone like who's there on the call can follow as in general process. It can be like step by step option. 
the first option that we have been suggesting uh, the five file which is shared with you the technical recording which was shared with you that was the first option okay if that doesn't work then the option that we discussed in the call today uh nahi dipanjan said ki retry it uh, probably it may work because uh, because dipanjan has showed us the error screen it was uh, uh, so i'm saying right ramesh retry it with your code also okay not just retry it uh, the same pi file don't run the same pi file again and again and expect things to work when i'm saying retry it it's like for one particular url okay hit it hit your uh, like try to put that request again and again okay try to do request dot get till you get a 200 so try it like uh, keep a max retry and keep on uh, basically hitting that particular page and uh, try to get that 200 response if you still are unable to work try out a uh, pummels approach if still things are not working then we can maybe come up with a new approach that uh, pummel suggested to basically change your ip again and again and then try to push that request so that is again another way i'm not sure which one will work for what and when okay what is the kind of things they are doing behind uh, to stop the this kind of access so you can try these approaches so, so this is going to help hmm. is my screen visible uh one minute Oh, I'll I'll just stop stop sharing my screen. Yeah, it's visible. So now see, Vipanjan. The second is retry it using a specific URL. Is, what I've written is it is it making sense? Retry it using yes, one yes. URL, one particular uh, URL. Huh. This is correct for each URL, not one URL. It's like for each URL. Uh, each. URL. Uh, try to hit multiple times okay you have written files uh, you can maybe change that to does it make sense but the, the are these words yeah. making sense yeah yeah this is correct okay okay try for like 10 15 times 16 times if you if it still is not working uh, then we can look into it okay hmm. The third first thing is without oh, any change. Okay, uh, guys, first try without any change. If it is still not working, then you can go with Pummel Saint. If it's still not working, then please connect with me and let's see if we can come up with another option. No, no. Listen, Panjan. Hmm. What was the? How do I put the third option, Pummel's option, in words? Uh, how do I update it? Like, what did we exactly do by doing that particular okay. thing? How do uh, I? Put yeah. So. basically the last approach that we were discussing is basically try to change the ip address uh whenever we try to put the request we are basically trying to push the request with a different ip address change the ip address why raising a request hmm correct so this was pamal's approach right that anything is, else from pamal you wanted to add apart from this i think i think using proxy would be the better to understand try yeah, using proxy hmm. yeah basically it does the same thing right like yeah, you, actually the, when you try to push another request it is going to change your ip address again correct, when you try correct, to push correct. another request change it correct that. yeah hmm. it's the same thing no no yes, it's the yes, same yes. thing I just wanted to see if there is any other way through Python, uh, which we can do it okay, like without using a proxy or something. So, let let's explore. Okay, there might be other options as well. Please try to explore. Now, as of now, then let's squeeze this thing to Panjim. As of now, the fourth thing is extensions. Mm -hmm. What was the name of that exp extension, Panjim? Uh, if you can read it on uh, your screen. For what? Data miner. Data miner with. Uh, red hammer uh, i mean white hammer in a red background data miner hmm. data miner extension data hammer sir data hammer It sorry data, data miner data miner sorry sorry yeah data yeah. miner yeah yeah, yeah. So, data miner extension mm hmm theek okay. hai so this is the fourth option yeah What is the fifth option? Fifth option, Pamal, the data set that you have extracted, right? Yes, yes, yes. Share it, share it with the team. Share it with me. I will make it at the central location. If yes, sir. I have already shared with you with that drive file. It is already there. The same thing. 
Yeah, yeah, I just shared two CSVs. So, there are more. Uh, uh, that extension, yeah, that one. So scraping this one, you are saying. Yeah, these two data, these two. This uh, one and this. Yeah, this one. Our three, this four one. more data is also with me. I'll share with you. So this you have updated like charger. So does it mean that only it has the data? Only charger. charger. Yeah, only charger. And this is for the only power bank. And I have scraped in other uh, three, four products as well. And each of these contains uh, nearly uh, two, three hundred of two, three hundred maybe, three hundred uh, products. Let's, you can open let's... this. No, abhi na to open. We won't open it now. I'm just trying to understand. Just trying to see. Uh, okay. So probably what all other things are there? Also try to uh, showcase it to us. No. So guys, this is the last option that you have to see. This is going to be the worst case problem using the data set already extracted by the teammate. But by doing that, it would be like your team has extracted the data and you worked on analysis. But my, my take on this is let this as an option in the worst case scenario. It can still be like okay, you are working as a team. You got, your teammate extracted the data, and you perform analysis to it. Uh, but I want you yourself to perform it. And by these many options, one, two, three, four, you should be in a position to one, two, three. You should be in a position to do it. And if in case we feel that there can one more option be added, we'll add it. But as of now, let's freeze this. Like we'll not wait. Uh, we won't uh, keep endlessly waiting. But now we have uh, suggested this particular thing. And then it would be like um, followed by uh, data cleaning analysis and whatever it is. Data cleaning, data analysis, visualization. That's making sense, Dipanjan. Uh, I think you're not sharing the other screen though, but. Is it array? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Huh. See, this is what I was typing. So this is how it will be. Option one, the solution that we already provided in the technical video, it should work. Ideally speaking, it should work. If it doesn't work, uh, try to hit the URL by hitting multiple times. If that doesn't work, uh, option three has also been added in the pi file. We will get you. I will share with you the updated pi file. Just uh, take it for the reference. If that doesn't work, then go ahead uh, use it using the particular extension. And then uh, I think it should work till then. If that doesn't work, and if like only if, uh, if you want to make it as a uh, data analytics and market research project, then you are researching on some data which is already provided to you by the teammate of yours, then probably we will go on to the option fifth. And that would be followed by the general course of data cleaning and data analysis. Yeah, was the Nipanji? Yeah, that works. Hey, yeah, Bulbul, you, you just gave thumbs down. Any query? <laughs> no, you gave yes, I was not able to see the screen. That's why. <laughs> no, no, Bulbul unknowingly gave thumbs down. I thought, was there any query? Yeah, uh, okay. So there is no specific query as well. Okay. So, Dipanjan, any more input to it or it seems good? Yeah, looks good. And if in case we feel that anything more can it, we can endlessly keep adding things, that's not an issue. But I think we should start we should stop at our time. focus was not too much into scraping. So right, because, <laughs> data analytics so that's, the, that's the one of the major reasons why we have pitched this project so early. The thing is, yes, now one week is over. You you can still take some time of yours. You can still take some time. You can do R and D. You can work on scraping. Or ultimate thing is like hey, you, you should be a superb data analyst. You should have a proper internship experience on superb data analyst thing, where you actually work uh, on some data. Set. But now you, that's the reason why we pitch this project early. Now try for this option, <laughs> and you do R and D, learn if you want, and go ahead and uh, just try to do it. And once you do this particular thing, then yeah, but to hoja na chahiye. If in case we feel like we can introduce one more thing, we'll do it, but four steps are good enough. That extension thing seems to be a very good one. But ultimately, it's like working on a data set 
extension will not be a part of scraping right it's like mining it's still like this it can be mining the panja right yes yes yeah uh yeah it is the same thing mining yeah it is the same thing they are used in the job requirements as data mining sometimes yeah so it's still a data mining thing data scraping is like you scrape a website mining is like you get it mine it from somewhere ultimately interchangeable words so even if you go by extension your scope of data scraping and data mining is still very much there what's your say guys yeah dipanjan yeah we are good now chalo so chalo we have like actually done with a huge kind of brainstorming and huge uh, things coming up so thank you thank you dipanjan and kamal for sharing